Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Caleb and welcome to another reaction video from here today. And we're going to be keeping with uh, Luke's suggestions that he uh, commented on one of my previous videos. We're going to be looking at top 10 most wanted anime crossovers from uh, Watch Mojo's channel. And like I said, it's it's nice to be having different content and everything to go with and everything. So, yeah, not much else to talk about, so let's go. Oh, wrong, wrong. There we go. And three, two, one. Yeah. Dragon Ball. When worlds collide, what's up, Goku? Hi, how are you? How are you? Huh? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten most wanted anime crossovers. For this list, we've put together the anime that we believe would complement each other well should they ever cross over. Into okay. Universe. It can be silly as hell, utterly badass, or curiously fitting, just so long as there is an obvious thread that can tie the two together. Okay. Number 10, One Punch Man, haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto. Sakamoto desu. The world's strongest superhero and the most perfect of students are impossible to beat by themselves. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? apartment together and you have the making of a duo so awesome they would be practically untouchable, even by the most heinous villains and jealous of classmates. Soka. Saitama can demolish anything from monsters to meteors with a single blow, while Sakamoto can solve any problem while remaining as cool as can be. <laughs> Whether it's defending the earth, wooing the ladies, or practically any other odds that come their way, the comedic possibility for these two is extraordinary. Let's just hope Genos doesn't get too jealous. <laughs> For some reason, that reminds me so much of classic Mortal Kombat games. Oh my god. Like freaking N64 Mortal Kombat, dude. The result would probably cause the shared universe to collapse under the weight of those massive eyebrows. Number 8, Yu Yu Hakusho, Hunter x Hunter. Hunter by Hunter is still one anime I need to get into watching and everything. I have not found the time to watch it yet. But it looks like it'd be interesting. It's easy to imagine Yoshihiro Togashi's most famous works crossing over. Each has four relatable and dynamic characters, leading to an epic team up should they ever encounter a common threat. And oh, or that one, okay. That's a very distinct possibility. I think. This one right here, I believe I've seen a, once or twice on Adult Swim back in the day, and I, I never really got into it. Like, I never really bothered to keep watching it, so. Log Horizon. With virtual reality on our doorsteps, it certainly won't be long before gamers can inhabit avatars similar to those seen in these two series. I I can see that now. Hurry up and take cover. Yes. Such, it stands to reason that in this technologically advanced future, two MMORPGs crossing over into each other isn't such a huge leap. Let's just hope that we won't get trapped inside of them like these guys. I'm gonna actually watch Log Horizon now because it actually. It seems very similar to Sword Art, which I might actually enjoy. The outgoing sword wielding ladies man Kirito and the more reserved Guildmaster Shiro would serve as a great driving force for a crossover. Not to mention all the crazy enemies that can be conjured up when two fantasy games match together. True. Players, I wish you the best of luck. Number six, Space Dandy Redline. Oh man, that's fast. They are perhaps the most unlikely heroes in the entire universe. Dandy is the captain of a crew that only consists of himself, a robot, and a talking alien cat, <laughs> while JP is a lone human taking part in the most dangerous race in the galaxy. Both based in 
Lawrence around a lot, with Dandy having the Gogol Empire on his back and JP being the only racer to purposely refrain from adding weapons to his vehicle. Both animations posted hmm. impressive racing sequences that left us begging for more. Perhaps this could be our chance? Whoa. Plus, it would be an excuse for two of anime's greatest hairdos to finally meet. We could call this one Pompadour X Pompadour. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the... I'm pretty sure this one's been talked about ever since Digimon and Pokemon started. Wanted this one since we were kids. That's right. It's the only way. The pocket monsters and the digital monsters have many similarities between them, but just enough differences that will make a crossover between Ash's crew and the Digi Destined an enjoyable one. Very much. Yes. Though, if we're being perfectly honest, what we're really looking at here is an all-out brawl. Yeah. Anybody who says Digimon is just a rip-off of Pokemon, fuck you. I freaking enjoyed both shows and everything. I don't see either one as a rip-off of the other. I see them both as their own original thing. And they're both amazing, so... It's pretty much guaranteed that Team Rocket would end up blasting off. Yes, again. very much so. Very much. Number four, Naruto, One Piece. Whoa, calm down, Strawhead! Ah, uh, the age-old question. Ninja or pirate? Oh, man. Naruto, Uzumaki, and Monkey D. Luffy are two of anime's most beloved protagonists. And seem to have a lot in common. <laughs> share the dream to become the very best and will do anything to protect their friends so there's really no doubt that these two could get along like a house on fire until i defeat you granted luffy is dumb uh, as shit and probably would pick a fight with naruto almost Here's immediately so also have plenty of room for earth shattering fight scenes zoro and sasuke would more than likely end up butting heads while jiraiya and sanji would lose their minds over some of the lovely ladies freaking jiraiya over nami good god Three, Kuroko no basket, slam dunk. Oh, so there was a basketball anime before. Huh, okay. What better excuse for a crossover than a sports tournament? While anime has managed to turn everything from boxing to volleyball into action-packed spectacles, nothing compares to these series based around basketball. I wish I could find a dub of this show, but I don't think, I don't think there is one yet. The two teams found within are arguably amongst the best fictional teams in all of Japan, and a match between the two could not only be a contest of skill, but also a match of old and new generations due to the almost 20 year difference between the two series. Hanamichi Sakuragi's The Liquid Nature and Natural Skill on the Court against Kagami Taiga's Mastery of the Zone would ensure that this would become the greatest basketball showdown in all of anime. Number two, K-On! High School of the Dead. We're having a training camp! Adore the members of the Light Music Club for their adorable personalities and drive to make their music dreams come true. But you know what would be even better if they had to deal with a zombie apocalypse? Ah! Oh, no. While Yui, Mio, and the rest are in no way as promiscuous as characters like Seiko, whose assets seem to have the power. Oh of God! You can't shake the idea that these five innocent girls beating the ever-loving crap out of hordes of zombies with guitars and surviving on rations of delicious. So yeah, High School of the Dead is probably one I'll only watch if I'm freaking drunk off my ass. Whose guitar feels like it weighs a ton? That's why I told you before you bought it that you should get a lighter one. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Yeah! I'd be okay with this one. This one is sick. I'd like to see... Uh, I'd especially like to see a fight between Luffy and Ace. Even though Ace would probably lose almost immediately. 
I think this this crossover I think would be okay. Oh yeah. He's the voice of Goku, isn't he? What anime crossover would you like to see? Honestly, there's not too many animes I would actually enjoy seeing a crossover between. I kind of just enjoy them all as their own thing. So, yeah. Anyways, those were some pretty good ideas thrown out there. I would, in, I would probably, maybe not like, depends on what you mean by crossover, like a full season, no, but maybe just like one, maybe like hour long episode or something like that, I'd, I could probably do something like that, I'd probably enjoy that, so, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, hit that like button down there, comment if you guys got any more Watch Mojo videos or any other videos in general you guys think I might enjoy watching. And as always, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of these videos here on my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys later.